That's where we going. Oh, the corn. And then switch foot. Yes. Here's a better visual of it. And I'm in the gym. We got swag bags. We've been there, though I wasn't allowed to film. We're gonna try to go find this guy, because Marilee wants to prove to me that cryptids are a real thing. They are, I'm just fucking with her. <laughs> we found it, just a little bit of confusion. My camera's going to break, because it keeps going snap every time I open the thing. Downstairs, but out of here. Um, it says the keynote speakers are down here, and the snack board? That's what it said on the little sign. So. Hmm. Uh huh. You find it? Aha. Uh -huh. We found it. I told you there was a bar. It says moshing and crowd surfing are not allowed at SoCal. You will be asked to leave. So don't do it, Marilee. Don't crowd surf. Do you hear me? <laughs> that was at least something. Team here at historic Soko Hall Auditorium. Did you guys go to Hollycon last year? Yeah. Good. Glad to have some people back. My name is Brian Corey. I am a co host and producer of the Necronomicast podcast. We're primarily horror movies, uh, probably 80% horror movies, 20% uh, things that inspire horror movies, so Bigfoot, Paranormal, all kinds of celebrity interviews, things like that. Our first featured speaker this morning. Please, an Omaha welcome to Jason Offit. Thank you. All right, thanks uh, yeah, for everybody coming today. This is exciting. I love this building. This is the first time I've ever been in it. Um, yeah, I'm here to talk about monsters. I've been fascinated by monsters ever since I was a little kid. Uh, because instead of watching uh, uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, uh, Lost in Space was on at the same time. So I watched that instead. There were a lot of cool monsters. Our next guest is Brandy Green. Now you might have heard of Brandy. You will recognize her from the hit sci-fi series Ghost Hunters International. She's worked in 40 countries and on six continents. Aside from Ghost Hunters International, Brandy has also worked on the Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods, Delicious, delicious Destinations, Destination America's Haunted Towns, and she also has a booth upstairs you can visit. She's written a comic book trilogy, Dark Dispatches. Please give a River City welcome to Brandy Green. but she wasn't down there in their booth. She was up here on stage somewhere. Oh no. Sean went up there somewhere. I guess they're having classes up there? Yeah, that's where classes are. Oh, okay. Merrily got the last one. Up on the balcony, and I almost died because there was one more step. <laughs> Said you won. What did you win? I won a 2XL shirt that I'll never be able to fit in, or it's too big for me. <laughs> and it's a display piece. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Raven Rose Paranormal. I'm guessing those are people who are here. Cool. Well, congratulations, you lucky bastard. That's right. <laughs> Sean's going to get a numerology reading. 
that is a doll that like automatically records and does EVP sessions and stuff. All on its own. Sean is getting his numerology reading. This lady. That is the confessional booth they have set up to where you can tell your paranormal experiences. <laughs> that was that was so scary. I'm gonna go in the booth and tell them about it. But no, they're gonna produce a uh, a video. Um, I think they said on YouTube they're gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah, of people you know you can be anonymous or not anonymous. Um, so I'll try to remember to link that video below once it's ready. I got a swag bag. I never actually even looked in it, so I was too busy looking at everything else. So I figured I'd just dig through it and see what we got. Uh, well, this is our schedule. They gave us that when we came in. Uh, oh, and I did buy uh, the lady Brandy Green. I did buy her comics. So these, and she signed them for me. And she made delicious cookies. So, but these I bought. Those, <laughs> those just ended up in there. Uh, there's a third one of these coming out, but it's still in the process. Okay, now swag bag stuff. Uh, let's see. We have the brown, brown, browned, not brown, not browned. <laughs> it's late in the day. Uh, brown Grand Theater in Concordia, Kansas. It's a nine. 1907 Restored Opera House and Performing Arts Center. It's a little thing from them. Permanent display of 27 vintage theater posters. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't say anything about being haunted or anything, but I assume with this being HauntCon, um, I would think that would be on the little <laughs> on, the, on the little thing. Like, hey, we've got ghosts too. Come check it out. Um, so maybe I'll have to go to browngrand.org and uh, check them out and see if there's something. But that was the thing with the Elms. When we went to the Elms, there wasn't really anything on their website about the ghost tours either. But whatever. Uh, okay, so there's that. Let's see what this is. We've got a couple of little cards in here. We've got Chris Case Productions. A little alien on the back. So, his little business card. They were the ones that were doing the YouTube video. Oh, and it's nice and shiny. I don't know if you saw that. Polygraphic, kind of. That's neat. Okay, this is Melvern Manor, October 19th, for tickets. You go to elizabethsaint.eventbrite.com. Saint Hauser and Harden. There's their pictures on the back. And there's some event that they're doing, I guess, in October. Okay, what else is this? A couple more cards in here, it looks like. Uh, this one is Midwest Paranormal History Tours. Explore the dark side of the city. Um, yes, it's a ghost tour. <laughs> See, that that's how you sell things, Brown Grant. See, it even says on there, yes, it's a ghost tour, so that you know. <laughs> uh, so, find us on Facebook and Instagram, Midwest Paranormal History Tours. It says explore the dark side of the city, but it doesn't say which city. Um, maybe they do multiple cities? I'm not totally sure. 
Um, so that's a little confusion with that one. I don't know if they work out of a specific city or if it's uh, multiple cities around the Midwest, perhaps. I don't know. And it looks like we have one last card in here. And it is, uh, oh, Vidi Space. Enter our reality, vidispace.com. I saw they're on Roku, they're on uh, Amazon. I saw a lot of their stuff. Um, I don't know if they want me to giving this out for people who weren't there, but there's a promo code to uh, get a yearly subscription for half off. So, I'm not totally sure what it is. Um, I don't know. I saw, like I said, I saw a couple ads for it there, but uh, I don't know if I ever saw a booth for it or not. But uh, so that's a little get fifty percent off uh, a monthly or yearly subscription to whatever that is. And I probably just showed it off the code by flipping it around. Whoops. But <laughs> so that was our swag bag. I'm gonna put all the swag back in here. Um, more like an ad bag than a swag bag, but that's cool. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so that is our Hauntacon experience, and uh, we might try to do it again next year. We'll see. That's a whole year from now, so. <laughs> Plenty more trips that we want to take uh, from there. But anyway, uh, that was our brief kind of maybe whirlwindy kind of tour of our Hauntacon uh, 2019. We enjoyed ourselves, I think. We stayed all day. Um, Went to check out the movie at the end, and then uh, went for dinner, and now I think we're all tired, and maybe ready for bed, so. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is, but. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get this video together, and I will see ya for what I see ya.